Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be going over how to use schedules to automate actions based on date field values in a form. Consider the example of an appointment management app. The screen we see now is the appointment booking form. Customers can book a slot by setting the date and time in this field. Based on this date and time field in the form, let's create a schedule workflow to remind customers of their appointment an hour in advance. To do this, let's first go to the editor and access the workflow section. Select schedules and then create a new workflow. There are two instances at which you can trigger a schedule workflow on a specific date and time and based on a date field in the form. As our requirement will be to trigger the workflow based on the appointment time that's already available on the form, let's choose the based on the date field option. Now choose the form and field based on which this workflow should get triggered. In our case, let's choose the appointment booking form and the field as appointment date time. We want this process to run in all cases, but you can also specify a condition if you want. Now, we have to choose when the workflow should start executing. Since we want to trigger this workflow an hour before the appointment, let's choose before 60 minutes. The default repeat interval will be daily and you have to choose the end date field and until when the workflow should get executed. Say you want to execute a workflow two days after the chosen date field. Just choose after two days. In our case, we need the workflow to run only once. So let's choose the repeat interval as once. And finally, let's give a name and create the workflow. The screen we see now is the schedule workflow builder. Now let's add an action by clicking on the add new action block. There are different types of actions you can configure in a schedule workflow such as sending alerts to remind customers of their appointment, updating appointment details for customer profiles in your CRM using integration actions, or defining a dilute script for unique requirements. For demonstration purpose, let's choose notification. You can configure different types of alerts as reminders such as email, SMS and push notification. For this requirement, we'll use the email action. First, fill in the credentials. There are Zoho variables available by default from which we can choose from whom the mail should be sent. In our case, let's use the admin user ID. In the to field, we want the email to be sent to the customers. So let's choose the customer email field from the form variables. Here, you can attach a report to be sent as an email. Say you want to attach the report of the customer's previous interactions. You can do that here. You can also choose to send files as attachments in the email if you have enabled the file upload field in the form. Now let's save the action. By clicking the gear icon here, you can access the workflow properties. If you want to modify any settings after creating the workflow, you can do that here. Additionally, we also have an option to choose the time zone for the workflow to run. This is the default time zone. The default time zone will be the same as the time zone in the application settings. You can change the time zone at which the schedule should run at any time. Now, let's see how this workflow works in real time. Let's add an entry on the appointment booking form with the appointment date and time as September 29, 2022 at 6 p.m. The schedule workflow will be triggered 60 minutes before the appointment time. Since the appointment date and time for the customer is at 6 pm on September 29, 2022, the workflow will be triggered an hour before the scheduled date. As such, the customer will receive an email at 5 pm on that day. Similarly, customers who have booked an appointment will receive reminders based on their scheduled appointment date and time. And that's all for this video. We hope you now feel confident configuring schedule workflows based on a specific date field in a form. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.